There's a spring instead of the stock. So, well, like, if you those, do those, are set at 8,000. Yeah, if you do this, you, you just kill it. It's gonna be
What's up, guys? Camera Tech Support Supervisor from Fuel Tech USA here with Lewis, and we have Rick Griffin with us. Um, he had his badass. What year is this? I didn't see the front 69 end. Camaro. 69 Camaro. Pat Musi powered uh, Outlaw 632 car. It did really, really good on the diner today. Are we are we sharing numbers? Or are we not sharing? Numbers? We're not sharing numbers. We're not sharing numbers. No. So I can't stuff. tell you. Yeah. I'm looking right at it, but I, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. So uh, I can see uh, two. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Starts with a two. <laughs> Engine so, at zero. Awesome day on the diner today. Why don't you kind of give us a rundown of how it went? It went very, 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 very well. I was very pleased with the organization of Fuel Tech, how they managed everything from the start of us taking the car off the trailer, uh, assisted in every way. Uh, Felipe did a great job climbing in my car, which I don't like people climbing in my, in my car at all. Um, he did a great job behind the wheel. Um, hats off to, to Cameron here. Did a great job getting our numbers up where they need to be. Um, and pretty much he was guessing the horsepower probably within about 20 to, to 25 horsepower on what we're going to end up at the overall end. Um, Luis, very, very knowledgeable, very knowledgeable guy. Uh, when Cameron couldn't get done and do his job right, Luis took, took <laughs> over and, and did a great job. But we were very, very pleased with the, with the whole group here. I'm, so, I'm the plus key guy. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's the plus, plus button guy. Yeah, let's, 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 more but, timing, more time, more fuel. Yeah, <laughs> more fuel. But what I like about it is that when we sit there and scratch ahead, either he had the knowledge, or Luis had the knowledge, or Felipe had the knowledge, and it made a very pleasurable experience. I mean, ha ha hands off to my guys, too, the Public Enemy crew, you know, Brian Harrington, uh, Billy Hudson, our tuner, and uh, Jordan Maletti, and uh, Wally Purvis. I, I couldn't do it without them. Very, very good. Well, I mean, that's one of the, the best things about bringing your car to the dyno here is that there's a wealth of knowledge amongst all of us, and we all have a little bit of a different skill set and a little bit of a different background that we're able to kind of melt all together into one thing, right? Yes. So. That gives you the ultimate setup for your race car. We make sure that everything is safe, and so that way when you go to the track, you don't have to worry about stupid things, and you can just wor worry about making it actually go down Good. the track. Yeah. No leaks, no electrical no. gremlins, nothing you know, nothing major that you guys have to worry about, and you can just go out and enjoy the car and have fun, right? Yeah, we would have we've been chasing our tails a little bit. Uh, if we just took it right to the track, we would have been chasing our tails on a few things, and, and you guys stepping up and finding it right away, because of your experience with these kind of small challenges, I'm going to call them issues, but um, I think we would have wasted a day at the track oh, if we hadn't come here. Yeah, racing, Absolutely. racing is complicated. Like yes. it, it, some, sometimes people don't realize how much he gets into like one of these bad boys. Oh yeah. You know, like any, any kind of professional drag racing vehicle, and you don't have to be promo, you know, mm -hmm. like whatever car that was built to be a race car and it could be starting with a fox body it doesn't matter but like at some point it became a race car it can be like a really small tire single jet stuff on a small block or all the way to like you know high horsepower blowers or nitros or stuff there's so much details and it requires mm -hmm. so much finesse mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. do left or right mm -hmm. and achieve the goal that you want absolutely like it, it i i don't hear this a lot but like this is a team sport 100%. Mm -hmm. This Absolutely. is a team sport. It takes a whole team to make mm -hmm. to make this thing run, and a whole team to make it run fast, not just run it. You exactly. Know, run fast. Yeah, and fast. another thing is like this is no longer something that you know rolled off the GM showroom floor or Ford showroom floor or anything. This is like you took a platform or a shell of something, and then you turned it into something that you wanted it. So mm -hmm. it was all your guys' engineering or whoever built your chassis and everything, and mm -hmm. then you need to kind of hone everything in to make all that stuff work as a package, right? Absolutely. So it's a lot of work to be able to get all that stuff kind of melted together and, and working the way that you need it to, so that way you can make your program as fast as possible. You know, we did okay, you know, in, in the past. You know, this is really our second season. We sat out uh, two seasons now. We uh, wrecked my former car, which was a Jester car, and uh, broke the wheel. And um, I, I was about ready to give it all up. And then um, I got a call from uh, a guy that we got the, the chassis from. It's actually a Teddy Hauser chassis, Stevie uh, Fast's first car. And, and um, everything's new. I mean, everything is new. The FT600, the, the motor, the trans, you name it, the, all the sensors, everything's new. So you're thinking, my thoughts are, hey, you got something new? That's going to be easy to go down the track. It's not. You got something new, you're starting from ground zero again. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, but uh, I, I think you guys did a, a fabulous job. Well, I can't thank you hopefully, enough. Uh, hopefully yeah. this thing kind of, uh, this day at least, kind of accelerated your, your progress into mm -hmm. uh, being competitive. And yep. um, 
it looks like we'll be seeing you guys around in the Pro 632 category. Absolutely. Absolutely. I appreciate it, fellas. All right. We'll much. see you guys next time. Okay.